Evening. Hey. Are you Baker? Yep. Baker. We're glad to see you. Expedition scientists approach Campbell Scientific to discuss the feasibility of creating a station so robust that it could withstand the harsh environment of Mount Everest, and yet light enough to be packed in by an elite team of climbers. As a member of the expedition team, Dr. Baker Perry from Appalachian State University had worked with Campbell Scientific previously and was confident in their ability to provide the right equipment. We can really count the number of weather stations above about 20,000 feet on probably one hand uh, in, in the world. The goal of this project is to go up higher too and try to get as close to the summit of Mount Everest as we can and also install some other stations lower down and in particular install some stations that uh, measure as many variables as, as possible. It's all part of a broader initiative to, un to try to understand life at the extremes. Located in Cache Valley in northern Utah, Campbell Scientific is surrounded by the Wasatch Mountain Range on the west and the Bear River Mountains on the east. Campbell Scientific engineers are no strangers to extreme environments. Less than an hour away, directly east in the heart of these mountains, is a place called Peter Sinks. This location is where the second coldest temperature in the lower 48 states was recorded on February 1st, 1985, minus 56 degrees Celsius. A Campbell Scientific weather station provided that data and is still recording today. This is only one degree warmer than the coldest temperature ever recorded, minus 57 degrees in Lincoln, Montana on January 20th, 1954. Although monitoring systems in extreme environments are nothing new to their team of engineers, several unique challenges had to be addressed. The biggest challenge with working on the Everest project was probably just trying to balance uh, features with weight and with performance. We needed to come up with uh, gear that could be light, uh, that the Sherpas could carry up on the mountain safely and install quickly and install with gloves on and gear on. You had to find batteries that would operate at these temperature extremes. We're going to see temperatures down to like negative 60 degrees and not only that but wind speeds as high as uh, 200 miles an hour and winds that are that high will also tend to pick up rocks and start to hurl rocks at high, wind, high speeds at, at the station. From a power perspective, if one wire, one lead was off or came loose, the deal's over. And so all of those things together, to me, made it, the project um, kind of interesting, but it also puts it into perspective that it could be difficult to, to pull it off and be, and be successful. Those are major challenges, and Jared Campbell and your team here at Campbell Scientific has been on it from the very beginning and putting their creativity to the test and, and you know, working with us and testing testing things out. This is not a typical project and it's taken, taken a lot of creativity. 